Hi, in today's episode of Three Tips in Three Minutes, we're going to be talking about using dates to do your history research. The first tip is really straightforward. Think about using dates in your searches. It can be something very simple. So for instance, we're looking here at JSTOR. Let's say you're searching for scholarly articles. There's going to be so much content here and you're going to be getting back so many results for a lot of topics that just stop and think about the dates. So articles in JSTOR, think about the publication date. Do you just want to see current scholarly articles from maybe the past 10 years or the past 20 years? Go ahead and enter a date range like 1990 to 2012. Anything you can do to cut down the number of results that you're going to get back when you're first starting out your searches. And also potentially focusing your research on more relevant perspectives, more recent perspectives in the research. The second tip, be sure that you're distinguishing between the date that something was actually written and published and the date that something is about. So as an example, let's say I write an article this year about the Civil War. The article is published in 2012, but the article is not about 2012, it's about the 1860s. When you're searching in particularly the two databases, America History and Life and Historical Abstracts, you're going to have options to separately enter publication dates or historical period dates. So you can say you're interested in articles that are about 1861 to 1865. You're not going to find stuff that was written then, but modern articles that are about that period. This is distinct from the publication dates where you could say I want things published from 2000 to 2012 and you'll get just that current, uh, most current 12 years worth of research. Now the third tip is to always take a minute to really look at the database you're searching and see what kind of special options it might give you for searching dates. Here we're looking at America's historical newspapers. Anything you might search in Redex, like these newspaper collections, or the African American periodicals, the American state papers, the congressional serial set, or a lot of our other collections, these are going to give you really unique options. You can just type in a date range and it will retrieve primary documents that were written between those dates. Or it also gives you these great checkboxes for eras in American history. So instead of you stopping to think, well, what are the years that I want to look at? Just look at the periods. Each period will have a name, like the U.S. Civil War or the Roaring Twenties, and it will give you a list of some of the key events that define that period. So all you have to do is check one or more of these checkboxes, and you'll be sure to get documents only from those periods. Anything that you can do to narrow in the time period will really help you to get more relevant results out of your searching.